Good morning, Capital. I'm Carly Conquer. Today is Friday, November 12, 2021, and these are your Coop TV news headlines. First, if you're interested in theater here at Capital, make sure to audition or sign up for Cougar Productions' next play, Shakespeare in Love. Auditions will take place on November 17th through 19th. There are audition packets for acting and tech in the main office and Black's office. If you're interested, ask Mrs. Cummins for more information. Also, the Latinx Youth Summit will take place on November 19th. Finally, lunch day will be a sloppy joe with peaches and green beans. Next, here are some great opportunities here at Capitol High School. First, registration is now open for winter sports. Winter sports include boys and girls basketball, gymnastics, boys swim, and boys and girls wrestling. The deadline to register is this Sunday, November 14th. Register online at www.familyid.com. Remember, you must have a current physical and make payment in time of registration. And do you have an interest in how information is shared in today's world? Do you have a future in journalism or broadcasting in mind? Would you love an experience you could use on a college application or essay? You have the opportunity to work with the University of Washington professor and their Center for an Informed Public. Mrs. Bonds is, lo is looking to connect a couple of juniors and seniors with this unique opportunity that will probably only take an hour of your time, but will sound amazing on future applications. See Mrs. Bonds in the, by Tuesday, November 16th for more information. Turning to the day's other headlines, we have some news from the health room. Are you feeling sick and want to leave school? Tell your teacher and go to the health room. Don't just text your parents to come get you. You must check in with the health room before leaving school. Next, IB registration forms need to, to be turned in to Mr. Joling in room A6 by Monday, November 15th to lock in the price of $119 per IB exam. Now, let's take a look at some of the positive impacts gardening can have on your life. Why did you start gardening? Actually, but kind of behind me here, there were three garden beds, and I had never grown anything garden-wise in my life. I just thought, hmm, I wonder what we could do with that. So it was really more of a little bit of a lab experiment outside, a little bit of a challenge. And so for about 10 years, it was growing in the 60 or 70 foot building of space. And we started adding flowers at two or three of these locations. And so we did three times. And we're growing year round. So if you look back there now, you'll see some bare spots or what look like bare spots. Those are seeded and they'll grow winter crops for us to make sure we have a little kale. How much time do you devote to planting and gardening? So it depends on the time of year. Like we're in fall right now. I don't think I've done more than an hour in the last two weeks total. You get it? It's more than most. It's less than a lot of people's hobbies, but I don't consider this work. This is just fun. Join the Future Farmers of America Club and speak to Miss Dallas in room I-10 for more details. And we here at Coop TV are rolling out an official remind. Want to share your pets on the broadcast as part of Coop Pets? Want to win cool stuff as part of our upcoming drawings? Join the Coop TV remind and get the links for giveaways texted directly to your phone. Never miss an opportunity to win some freebies. Join the remind today. You can join via browser or the app. The code is right below. And for more opportunity to win t-shirts, Starbucks gift cards, free pizza, and more, be sure to subscribe to us on YouTube. We will be launching our first giveaway right before Thanksgiving. Also, follow the Coop TV Instagram at Coop TV to stay in the loop, vote on what you want to see in the broadcast, and see what goes on behind the scenes. In other news, Hosa Club is hosting a virtual blood drive for the fall and winter season. Please make your appointment today at any pop-up or donor center bef between the dates of November 21st to December 5th and tell them it's for the capital Hosa. Their goal is 35 donors, so come and help support the Hosa Club to earn their scholarship by donating blood. Finally, boys and girls basketball players plan on trying out for November 15th, need to provide their coach with either proof of vaccination or proof of a negative test for tryouts on Monday, November 15th. Tests will be administrated after school on Monday in the nurse's office. The players that are not fully vaccinated will need to co continue to provide negative test results from the nurse on each Monday and Thursday throughout the season. Well, that's all for today's broadcast. Make it a good morning, Capital. Thank you for watching Coop TV. Next, the Pledge of Allegiance. You may now stand. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America.
to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Amen.